if you try and achieve your goal, you will fail. Now, how can I say that? As someone who's supposed to motivate you and be positive for you, well, there's a quote, as my friend Ken just pointed out from Yoda, it's do or do not, there is no try. So when you try, it's, it's really a non-committal no, is what one of my clients calls it. So think about someone owes you money, right? And you say, hey, can you pay me back on, on Friday? And they go, well, I'll try. Are they paying you back on Friday? Probably not. Okay, so the point here is to be real careful with the language that you use, not even so much for when you're talking to others, but when you're talking to yourself, you say, hey, I'm going to try and do this. I'm going to try and I'm going to try and lose weight. I'm going to try and stop smoking. I'm going to try and make all these changes in my life. I'm going to try and have, you know, I'm going to try and start my own business. So all these things that you're trying, before you even start, you're implying failure. Right. So what you want to do is, like Yoda said, do or do not. There is no try. And when you focus on how to do it and you language it to yourself in the right way, then you can put yourself into the right state of mind. And the motivation comes from that state of mind. But it's also speaking not just to your conscious mind, because the conscious mind gets what try means. But the real communication happens on an other than conscious level, especially when you're talking to someone else. You know, so it can be used on purpose when you want someone to intentionally fail at something that would be good for them to fail at. So like if if you're trying to sell someone a product, say, hey, you can try the competition, right? I mean, it, the it used to be on every pizza box. You've tried all the rest, now have the best, right? So try implies failure. Try implies that it's it's not going to work out. So it's a simple word. And when you use it the right way, it can be effective. And it's really first about being aware of the word when you use it, when you say, or when you hear someone say, hey, I'm going to try and do this, or I'm going to try and accomplish this, or I'm going to try and reach this goal, you know, you realize that they're going to fail. And it's by design. But it sounds good, right? Like if someone owes you money and they say, hey, I'll try and pay you Friday. And then Friday comes and you say, where's my money? And they say, well, I don't have it or I can't do it or whatever. But I tried. I tried real hard. I really, really tried. You know, it's like it sounds good. You know, because if they just said no, that would be rude. It would be honest, but it'd be rude. It's like, are you going to pay me back on Friday? No. What do you mean? No. Now it sets up a confrontation. And that's really where my client, who is a lawyer, said it's, it's a non-confrontational no. So my name is Mark Siegel. I'm your personal mind trainer. And I'm teaching a series of classes on how to use language to get the results that you want. You know, I'm well studied in conversational hypnosis, in neuro linguistic programming, and all sorts of really cool rapport creating and conversational language patterns that can help you to be a more confident, persuasive communicator. You can reach out to my information on the end screen after this video, and I'd love to have a chat with you.